Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, Grace Randolph has made some more comments shooting down the Snyderverse, claiming that it will just not happen, and fans who think it will happen are completely wrong. So, today's video we will be breaking down what she has said and why she is right and also very wrong. So, I will read out exactly everything she has just said on the Snyderverse and then we shall break it down after. She tweeted, Ben Affleck doesn't want to come back. Henry Cavill ain't getting invited back for reasons I've already told you countless times that are much on him as Warner Brothers. You guys are hoping for something that is an impossibility. You just gotta move on. She went on to tweet, the final thing I'm going to say, there are some whose entire identity is wrapped up in Snyderverse hype. So they'll never let it go, never stop giving you hope, but for very wrong reasons. You don't have to like or support the new DCEU, but you should realize what is happening. So a lot to take in, all of it negative towards the Snyderverse, but like I said at the start, she is right and also wrong. So let's break it down. Her first line is about Ben Affleck not wanting to come back. This is true, but this was also true when he left the role before, and then he returned for Zack for the Snyder Cut's additional photography. Many have said that the reason why Affleck wouldn't return is because he doesn't want to work under the executives that butchered Justice League in the first place, but he would come back for Zack Snyder. That point I am on the fence about. I completely understand that argument and I can see it as a possibility, because the executives did make the reshoots for Justice League very stressful, which helped Affleck distance himself from the company. But it may just be because he wants to do other roles now, which is fine, and if it is the case, then I fully support him and wish him all the best. But I think the Snyder Cut was proof that he would come back for Zack, especially after the Discovery merger, because that would mean new executives, which most likely equals less stress and studio meddling. The next line is about Henry Cavill not being invited back. We know this, the relationship between Henry Cavill and Warner Brothers is not a good one, but yet again, Grace is ignoring that the merger is months away, and even she stated that Discovery may be making a lot of changes in management. I think that, I think that Discovery will make some big changes when they take over. I think they're gonna make big changes across the board when they take over in the next year or so, probably in the next year. So even Grace herself believes the Discovery merger will make a difference. Her final line is actually hilarious, saying that we need to move on. It honestly feels like deja vu. People told us to move on from the Snyder Cut. We didn't, and now we can watch the Snyder Cut whenever we want to. I'm going to kind of ignore her second tweet because it feels quite insulting and untrue, at least for me. But I will say that I don't give false hope. I present information and proof to back up my beliefs and then allow you to make the decision as to whether or not you believe me. So, it feels like she is trying to insult Snyderverse optimists. Going back to her first post, she is right and wrong. She is correct, the Snyderverse living in the main DC universe is an impossibility. She knows this because she allegedly knows what happens in The Flash. But, the Snyderverse doesn't need the main DCEU to survive. She is tweeting this with the mindset that we want or think the Snyderverse will be restored within the main DCEU timeline. That is not the case whatsoever. To have the Snyderverse restored in the main DC timeline is an impossibility. But that is not what we are saying. We are calling for the Snyderverse to be restored in its own universe, disconnected from anything else. The Flash literally opens up the multiverse and gives us the perfect explanation as to how the Snyderverse can be restored. I say this basically every Snyderverse video I do, but the Discovery merger is so close and they have said that they will listen to what consumers want. They will most likely change the hierarchy and the way things function over at Warner Brothers, such as bringing Warner Max back, so it is not hard to believe that the Snyderverse could be restored. Also, way back when the Snyder Cup was just a myth, multiple reliable scoopers had sources within Warner Brothers who stated that the Snyder Cut didn't exist, 
and then that they wouldn't release it anyway. Those scoopers were being told that information from people within Warner Brothers who wanted to get the message out there that the Snyder Cut didn't exist. I think the exact same thing is happening right now. I think the executives over at Warner Brothers know that the merger is getting closer and closer and that their jobs are at risk. So they want to try and kill the hype and hope for the Snyderverse before Discovery's arrival. So when Discovery are in power, the executives can go show them that the hype has died down and so they win. But I know the Snyderverse fandom. We've been told in the past three years that the Snyder Cut didn't exist, then that they weren't going to release it, then that it won't be very good, and then it won't be successful. All those points have been proved false. Why? Because we didn't give up. These next six months are arguably the most important six months of the Restore the Snyderverse movement. The merger is getting closer, Discovery are doing more research, and the Warner Brothers executives feel more threatened than ever. People are turning on Warner Brothers and are giving up on DC movies. I wouldn't be surprised if the executives have seen the backlash on the Flash news and are now trying to tear down all hope by pushing out the news that the Snyderverse is an impossibility. Now I am not saying Grace Randolph is lying. I'm saying that maybe her source is being told information directly from the executives that want the Snyderverse to die. It has happened before with the Snyder Cut, and I think it could be happening again. Take her tweets with a pinch of salt. She isn't saying this from the perspective that the Snyderverse would be separate from the main DCEU, or the fact that the Discovery merger is right around the corner. The difference with her Flash film tweets is that other people also reported the same thing, so there was more of a reason to believe it, but I would still take that with a pinch of salt. Also, she tweeted this a while back, and now has reported something completely different, so things can change all the time. She also said that Henry Cavill was close to signing a new deal, and then that never happened. I'm not saying she's a liar, just her source can be wrong, like in these scenarios, so don't be disheartened by her tweets. Grace, if you are somehow watching this video, this isn't me trying to start an argument with you, or calling you a liar. I just respectfully disagree. So where does this leave the Restore the Snyderverse movement? Well, I think it leaves us in an even better position than before. Warner Brothers have given us even more motivation to push for the Snyderverse. We will continue to do trending days and hopefully some more fundraisers in the future. I hope this video has given you some more realistic hope if you felt down about Grace's tweets. She is right and wrong, but when I add context to those tweets, I hope they make more sense and shows why the Snyderverse isn't dead completely, just dead in the main DCEU timeline. There is still a real chance that the Snyderverse can be restored. We just need to keep on pushing. Also, Cyborg himself posted this today, a quote from the Snyder Cut and the hashtag Restore the Snyderverse. The image he included was from The Hollywood Reporter, displaying how the Snyder Cut caused a huge rise in HBO Max subscriptions, adding more evidence to the Snyder Cut's success. Warner Brothers are trying to hide the success of the Snyder Cut, and more and more evidence comes out proving them wrong. Which is creating more evidence as to why Discovery should not only take a good look at who is running the company, but also why they should restore the Snyderverse. Remember, hope never dies. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.